Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. To understand the method of multiplying a binomial by a binomial, let us take up two simple binomials, say x plus y multiply by p plus q. We start with distributing the first bracket and get x multiply by p plus q plus y multiply by p plus q. Here note that this positive sign comes from the first bracket which we are distributing. Also, now we have a monomial and a binomial, a monomial and a binomial and it is easy to multiply these two. And now we, if we break this up, first we have to multiply x with p and then x with q. This will give us xp plus xq. Next step is positive sign y with p plus y with q. Please note that the positive sign is from this bracket. Similarly, this positive sign comes here while this positive sign is coming from the first bracket. That means that our signs will change according to the signs in the two brackets that are to be multiplied. Let us start with example 8 part 1. It says that multiply x minus 4 and 2x plus 3. We can see we have to multiply two binomials. Let us start distributing the first bracket. We get x multiply by 2x plus 3 minus 4 multiply by 2x plus 3. Please note that the minus com sign comes from the first bracket. Now let's solve it further. x into 2x will give us 2x square plus x into 3 will give us 3x. Minus 4 into 2x will give us minus 8x. Minus 4 into my plus 3 will give us minus 12. Here we notice that we have two like terms. 3x and 8x. So let us solve it further. To get 2x square minus 5x minus 12. And finally we get the required answer. Let us start with example 8 second part. We have to multiply x minus y with 3x plus 5y and both of them are binomials. Distributing the first bracket we get x multiply by 3x plus 5y minus y multiply by 3x plus 5y. Solving this further will give x multiply by 3x is 3x square plus x multiply by 5y is 5xy minus y multiply by 3x is minus 3xy minus y multiply by 5y will give us minus 5y square. Clearly we have like terms so let's solve it. We get 3x square plus 2xy minus 5y square as the required answer. Let us start example 9 first part. We have to multiply a plus 7 
with b minus 5. Let us start distributing the first bracket. We have a multiplied by b minus 5 plus 7 multiplied by b minus 5 which will give us a multiplied by b a b minus 5 multiplied by a plus 7 multiplied by b 7 b and plus 7 multiplied by 5 minus 35 note here there is no like term so this is the required answer now let us start with example 9 second part here we have to multiply a square plus 2b square with 5a minus 3b distributing the first bracket we get a square multiplied by 5a minus 3b plus 2b square multiplied by 5a minus 3b. On solving further, we will get 5a cube minus 3a square b plus 10ab square minus 6b cube. Again, there are no like terms, hence this is the required answer. Let us try to understand if one term is binomial and other is trinomial, then how do we solve it? Let us take a plus b to be a binomial and x plus y plus z as a trinomial. To solve it, we will distribute using the first bracket and get a multiplied by x plus y plus z plus b multiplied by x plus y plus z and then we will multiply each term one by one to get ax plus ay plus az plus Again, bx plus by plus bz. And the final step would be to combine the like terms. ax, bx and ay, by can be combined and az, bz can be combined to get the final answer. Here, on combining the like terms, we will get a plus b x, a plus b y and a plus b z as the required answer. Let us start with example 10. We have to simplify a plus b multiplied by a trinomial and c multiplied by 2a minus 3b. So we have to solve two multiplication terms simultaneously. So let us start. We start by distributing a multiplied by 2a minus 3b plus c plus b multiplied by 2a minus 3b plus c and let us copy the third part as it is. Now let us open the brackets. a into 2a will give us 2a square minus 3ab plus ac plus b into 2a will give 2ab minus 3b square plus bc and now let's open the third bracket also minus c into 2a will give minus 2ac and minus e into minus 3b will give plus 3bc. Now let us detect the like terms and solve them. We have minus 3ab and plus 2ab. This will give us minus ab. Again we have plus ac and minus 2ac. 
this will give us minus AC and finally we are left with BC and plus 3 BC this will give us plus 4 BC hence this is our required answer